Today I'm gonna show you one of the most realistic features that we've had in a football game. This has been on PES for many years, or eFootball PES 2021 is the game that I'm gonna show you guys this feature on today. So right above me, you guys can see supporters sad to see Jude Bellingham go as retirement has been made official. As you guys know in football, there comes the day where you have to retire your player last game in football. And let's just look at FIFA here, for example. What happens at the end of a FIFA 23 career mode? Nothing. There's not even a cutscene, not even a thank you for your career. Imagine if you play through 15 seasons, you sit there for months, guys, going through these seasons, and you get rewarded with nothing at the end. Well, today I'm going to show you what they have done on eFootball Pass 2021, which, uh, yeah, is, is just incredible. So, um, this happens with anybody. Uh, right now, I'm just using a real player. Just ignore the player that I'm using, guys. Um, this, you know, is supposed to be really fun when you've actually created your own player, um, and it goes through like uh, yeah i'm gonna show you guys what happens pretty much but today we're gonna be using bellingham so uh, he's made the following comments in an interview uh, ahead of his testimonial match i'm feeling good and expecting a good performance today and if we go over to the messages uh, from the agent you can see we have a message your last match so this is it today's the last day you step out onto the pitch i can't believe it to set a testimonial match go out there and enjoy yourself all right i'll be cheering you on from the stands so i mean these guys we've never even had in career mode on FIFA and it's just laziness. This is so cool in my opinion it, and it makes you want to you know finish your career uh, on the game. Play through every single season. So right now as you guys can see there's going to be an awesome cutscene right here. All good things must come to an end. It's now time to prepare for the last chapter in your career. That is the testimonial. So a nice cutscene here before the game guys and I mean this cutscene we don't even have in, uh, in FIFA. Nothing guys. Absolutely nothing. So yeah right now it's just the testimonial match they have selected Manchester City as the opponent so um, this is going to be fun and we are starting there in midfield so uh, yeah we're going to be going into it uh, right now and what is cool is that the commentators as well they actually talk about you when you score a goal in this match it's it's really really fascinating so uh, let's go ahead guys and uh, just uh, finish up this game maybe score ourselves a goal and then we'll see what happens at the end of the match guys when you retire as a football player let's just go ahead and score this uh, final goal in our career and listen to the commentators guys and look at the celebration as well man this is special for your final game celebrating with the uh, bench um, but yeah guys the, the fact that the commentators you know actually talk about you th this is specifically happening for this game this uh, this commentary doesn't happen for any other game so yeah once again guys it's great detail and it just makes it special once again. Let's just go ahead and get to the very end of the game. And yeah, we'll see what happens. So here we are then, guys, at the end of the match. And uh, he is uh, clapping the supporters, the players, the teammates are clapping him as well. As you guys can see, we got, uh, yeah, the uh, the final goal of his uh, career as well. And uh, now his teammate is joining him for a lap around the stadium. I mean, even the opponents is uh, clapping him as well, guys. And uh, he is saying goodbye to uh, all of the supporters. I mean, this is an incredible cutscene, guys, and uh, I love the attention to detail right there. And as I said, I, I really wish that they had something like this for a FIFA career mode next year or, or something like that. There needs to be something for the end of your career, you know. Um, this is just very special, and uh, look at all the media as well looking at uh, Jude Bellingham right there. So, uh, yeah, there we go, guys. Very, very nice end to the career. Let's uh, keep going and uh, let's uh, see what happens. So, uh, as you guys can see, after that match, you are going to be getting this cutscene with some, uh, yeah, pretty cool music. And uh, you are going to be, uh, yeah, just uh, going through your uh, your career stats, as you guys can see right there, though. Uh, the club teams are uh, only Liverpool because I've gone ahead and done this example for you guys. Uh, but normally, this would be with the different you know clubs all the clubs that you have been through all of the appearances would be like probably close to a thousand appearances especially if you start at a young age uh, you know if you have played through every single season in your career you're gonna be having loads of trophies listed right there all of the stuff from your national team everything like that and usually it takes about two three minutes to go through this uh, whole cutscene uh, 
if you actually have gone ahead and played through your whole career so uh, yeah there they go guys 2021 retired from professional football and there you have the career records uh, as well um, but yeah as I said though guys this is just for the video um, it looks really really much better when they've gone ahead and actually played through every single season so after that we have the final day of the season guys and then you actually have it into you right here with Jude Bellingham. Following his testimonial match, Jude Bellingham spoke to us about his life in football and about his gratitude for those who's met along the way. That's me done. Goodbye to football. Goodbye to my career. If I've learned one thing along the way, it's been that the spirit of football that so many people have shared with me will serve me well no matter what comes next. So uh, yeah, very nice interview there that he does. Uh, let's just go ahead and look at the messages. Farewell, Jude Bellingham agent. It was an honor to get you see you one last time heck don't tell anyone but i even shed a tear at the end i guess this is my last day on the job as your agent i hope i wasn't a complete waste of space during your career you know what let me say that i'd love to work with you again in the future whatever you're doing see you later mate so uh yeah that is uh that almost gives you goosebumps you know and then you can obviously look at uh, all of your stats so what you have accomplished through your career in these menus as well but obviously there is no way to move forward for you so um yeah guys this is a this is a great feature i've always really liked it and uh, there, there was once there was, i think it was like pes 2017 or something because this has obviously been a feature in uh, in, in all the pes games i think it was pes 2017 i actually played through my whole career guys and at the very end i got this cutscene with you know everything uh you know the stats from my career and it was actually kind of emotional you know uh, playing through everything you know you've been playing for so many months so many seasons and then you see that at the end you have your teammates coming up to you and everything it is really special guys and it's a nice way to end the career mode on the on past 2021 um, and as i said this uh, compared to fifa is crazy because literally nothing happens guys at the end of fifa 23 career mode or fifa 23 player career mode at least there should be something happening you know now that they've added a few cutscenes and stuff I, it's crazy that we don't have anything for this um, So yeah, hopefully guys in the future maybe after they've seen this they can get inspired to maybe add something uh, To the end of your career to FIFA 23 to make that a little bit special as well guys uh, But yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this feature in eFootball PES 2021 I think it's a very nice detail and yeah, one of the reasons that in my opinion PES 2021 is the greatest football game greatest football video game that I've ever played Played and uh, yeah, hopefully it's gonna change at some point, but um you know, we'll have to wait and see what happens with eFootball 2023. I really hope that they release a Become a Legend game mode. We know that we are getting a Mass League uh, in 2023, uh, but hopefully Become a Legend as well, because uh, cutscenes like the one we just saw in today's video is, uh, yeah, legendary. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around there. And uh, yeah, that is it for now. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.